Google released a new programming language and we should probably ignore it. 안녕하십니까? Nicolas Inida and welcome to a new video. C++ has been around since 1985 and to this day it still remains as the most popular programming language when building performance critical applications, which means software that has to run fast. In 2015, the size of Google's code base was of 86 terabytes, consisting of 2 billion lines of code spread across 9 million files. And a lot of that code is written on C++. As you would expect, Google has run into some problems with C++. But improving C++ the way Google wants to improve it is not an easy thing. Google wants to improve C++, but the C++ committee, which is a group of people from NVIDIA, Intel, Bloomberg, Oracle, among others, prefers to focus on backwards compatibility, which means they don't want to change the language so much that all code will stop working. Because many companies depend on C++, they rather keep the language stable and backwards compatible rather than constantly evolving it. Because Google already has millions and millions of lines of C++ code, they cannot just switch programming languages and rewrite everything in Rust, for example. That would be crazy. They need something that is interoperable with C++. And this is why they created Carbon. Carbon is as fast as C++ and it has bidirectional interoperability with C++. Carbon code is able to call C++ code and vice versa. This is huge because this means that they are able to write new code using Carbon, but they can still reuse old C++ code. Carbon wants to do for C++ what TypeScript did for JavaScript or what Kotlin did for Java. The syntax difference between C++ code and Carbon code is not that big, which means C++ developers will have an easy time when writing new Carbon code. And calling Carbon code from a C++ file is trivial as well. All we have to do is write the function in Carbon and then import it in a C++ file and we are good to go. So why should we ignore Carbon? As it says on Carbon's homepage, if you can use any other established programming language like Go, Swift, Kotlin or Rust, you should ignore Carbon. Carbon is for organizations that have a lot of C++ code or use many third-party C++ libraries. Carbon is fixing a very special problem that not many companies have. Carbon is also experimental. It is years away. And even though it doesn't say in the project homepage, Carbon is a Google product, which means that as we know, it can be killed at any second. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about Carbon? Do you see yourself or your company using Carbon? Or do you think Google is going to kill it very, very soon? Thank you for watching as always. And don't forget, if you want to learn to code and you want to do it for free, then please click the link below and I will see you there. You will find lots of free courses to teach you to code from JavaScript to Python, React, Go, Redux, among many other things. Thank you as always for your support. I will see you on the next video. Stay free, eat kimchi, be happy. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.